I just don't understand people who think that they are raising you up and tearing you down at the same time and you think they think that you don't know like you're not smart enough to know like I just went on um Instagram and had a little rant you know about the overly religious lady and people are already starting to hit me in my little DM talking about <clears throat> that's not being overly religious that's being a Christian well turn that around what you mean to say is <laughs> the other way around yes so no, like, I just don't understand why Christians feel like they have to act a certain way for approval. And I'm like, approval of who? Who are you seeking the approval of? God? Okay, then that's good. I, I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors. But in the same sense, don't be a fool. I think some people really do have psychological locks. Like, it is a serious thing. Oh my God, I'm just so glad I'm, God allowed me to live long enough to be, even be able to have this amount of smarts. <sighs> I can't see how people can't see how we're being controlled through religion and food and stuff like that. I mean, it's people that don't have a fucking clue about what's really going on in the world at all. Like, not on your block, <laughs> not on your city, not in your hood. Not in your county, not in nobody else's county, not your country, not nobody else's country. You just don't know anything. You don't know what's going on out here and why is it? It's crazy. I know y'all hear this traffic. I'm being economical today. So, I just don't understand. So I went on about this rant on IG because I was sitting at the laundromat. We call it a Washateria in Texas now. I'm from the North, laundromat. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm just minding my business and I seen her. So I was like, let me speak because she's the elder and I don't want to be rude. And I know she know that I know she know it's me. <laughs> so let me speak. So I was like, I was like, good morning. She was like, good morning. Did you ever get that stuff you was talking about you was gonna get from your church? I said, what? <laughs> I said, ma'am, she said, when you said you were going to go get them documents about that audit for your, for your church, because you said you were judging your church because they want too much money. <laughs> I said, no, I've been busy. Now, I didn't want to argue with the lady, but that's not what I told her I was going to do. I told her that the church I was attending has all of their uh, financial records uh, in public matter. Like, you know, you can go, if you go to the church or if you're a member, you can go in and, um, you can see the books if you want to. I remember Bishop saying it one day when I was at church. Okay. So I'm never throwing shade at the church. Like I, that's a really nice church. I'm not throwing shade at it. So the lady was like, yeah, you know, uh, did you get the records? And I was like, no, no, I didn't get the records or whatever. So I just left it alone. So she was like, well, you know, you need to do this and this and that, and you know you need to do. And I was like, okay, all right, thank you. Have a good morning. Have a good morning. <laughs> so then when I went back in there, she was still on some crazy stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, she should go. She asked me to take a picture of her. So she gave me her phone. And see, you know how some people ask you, can you do something for them, but they really telling you to do it. She didn't already put the phone in my hand when she's talking about, um, can I put this phone in your hand? Can I take, can you take my picture? <laughs> can you take my picture? I said, yes, ma'am, I'll take your picture. So I'm taking her picture. And as she comes back to get the phone out of my hand, she's smacking on these baked lace potato chips. And when she went to say something, I was saying, okay. And the piece of food flew in my mouth. <laughs> I know she know I was about to lose it. I know she know. Cause I was like, I can't even think of the face I made. And so she was like, oh baby, sometimes I do that. I spit on people. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna miss my flight because I'm about to die right here on the floor from this lady spitting in my mouth. <laughs> oh my God. So then after she did that, I just was like, I was like, snap out of it, Marquita, snap out of it. <laughs> so I snapped out of it real quick. And then I was like, okay, well, um, thank you. And just walked on off or whatever. Oh my God, I was spitting the whole way down. I was, <laughs> I have problems. So anyways, long story short the lady made it her purpose and her duty to come to my car I 
made the door open. She came and got damn near in the car with me and was like, here, baby, I know you can spell. I know you can spell. You look like you can spell. Put her phone in my hands again. I see at this point, I'm, I'm looking like I'm about to want to hit this lady. Cause don't touch me and don't be having me put fingerprints all on your shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stupid. So she was like, you look like you was going to hit me. I said I was about to. <laughs> so she was like, well, I just need you to type this word out for me because you look like you can spell. So, I mean, I'm a smart girl. The industry that I'm in, I know not to put my, my full fingerprint on nothing. So I cornered, cornered the shit out of them text messages for her. She asked me to send. And they were some pretty big words. So I just went ahead and did it because I didn't want to insult the lady's intelligence. Okay. Oh, my God. So... She was like, thank you. Then she came back and told me she wanted to have a Bible scripture and she wanted me to text the Bible scripture to, <laughs> to this lady because she was prophesying in this lady's life about her being a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. This is a true story. This is a true story. So she told me, she was like, I want uh, uh, faith is the substance of things not hoped for and evidence of things not seen or the things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So I was like, oh, okay. I was like, isn't that Hebrews 10, 1? I was like, is that the same one? She was like, baby, I don't know. And I'm telling you, she didn't even finish the damn scripture with me. She didn't even finish the scripture. Like the first sentence, she was tapped out. So how about, this is the whole point of this story. How can you be so overly religious and you can't even finish spitting one sentence that's in the Bible that you telling somebody you prophesying to them over? Now, am I lowering this lady's capability? No, because some people aren't book smart worth a damn. You know, my memory retention rate, like, I can remember certain things, but certain stuff I just don't even consider. So I'm saying, okay, I'm just gonna continue to be polite to this lady. Long story short, she did teach me some lively lessons this morning. See, I done been through all of this this morning and some of y'all's asses is still in the bed. Slob running down your mouth. I'm in a whole nother world. So, I helped the lady or whatever and I just was like, oh my gosh, she just really wanna push her point across so people can be Christians and go back to their church. And I'm sorry, I, uh, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Let's start over. Well, <laughs> that's how I say that. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't want to go back and be institutionalized like that. I have driven all my powers to donating to causes that I feel that are worth it. I put my money into what I believe I should put it in, black owned businesses, and I keep it 100. If I'm posting something and I'm telling you to support this person to do something for it, I'm doing the same thing. I have already been with them, I know them, and this is why I'm recommending them to you. So, I'm not about to sit up here and build myself up to know that much knowledge to turn around and go throw it away to go back in the church and clap and donate money. And if you got a problem with that, as one of my friends down here in Texas would say, fuck off. <laughs> so I'm just like, no. You know, overly religious people just bother me, man. And I used to be one of them. I'm so thankful I'm not anymore. I don't understand how y'all can't understand how that's a relief. When you decide that you're going to do whatever it is that you have to do and just be an a, a outstanding human being, you don't worry about a religion or a friend or a parent or a boyfriend or your girlfriend or your girlfriends. So you don't worry about that. Man, it's just, we have to understand that we got to live life. We got to wisen up. We are so far behind in the race. Oh my God. We are. <sighs> I just whipped my imaginary hair. So I'm done. I can't drive it to you no harder than that. I hope everybody have a blessed day. I'm going to need y'all to send me some positive energy because I have a lot that I have to do. Today, I am making this world my atmosphere. Some days you gotta demand more on the world than the world can demand on you. You know, we take bullshit from people five days out of seven. Then we gotta try to go out and shop on six and rest on seven. So make the world where you want it to be. Bring your, your level up, bring your energy up. So you don't have to worry about none of this other crazy stuff that's going on out here. So that's what I'm doing today. I am making the world mine. I am speaking everything that I need to happen into the existence. My transportation is going to be on time. <laughs>
my flights is on time. I have favor. I receive free things. Yes, I do. So, I mean, you have to speak them positive energies over yourself. I mean, how can somebody else look at you and give you positivity and you look like negativity? So, I'm learning and I've learned and I'm conquering. Yay for me. <laughs> And people that know me is applauding me and the people that know me might not be applauding me. I don't know. It depends on who you are. But we are all getting there. We just have to run the race a, f a fair pace. It can't be, you know, stagnant. And I'm learning that. So that's why when I start running, I'm building my mind up to mentally start running. Some people just can get out there and they can just go exercise and run. And I'm not one of those people. I have to build my mind up first to be like, okay, well, you know you want to kill them in the summer. You know, I have to have goals. So I'm just like, okay, we have to have goals. We have to set them. We have to keep them. We have to learn. <sighs> so I am making the world mine today. Yay for me. Well, y'all can follow me on um, IG. I'm Marquis Marie. And y'all, please be safe. And please be nice to people. And please love one another. And don't honk at people in traffic. In Houston, slow down. Because we supposed to be slow, but we fast. Hmm. Love y'all, Houston. I love y'all. I want to give y'all a little name. And I keep coming up with little honey, honey bunches of oats. <laughs> but that's like a really long phrase. So I don't know. I just, I don't know. My little honey bees. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Oh, Lord. I don't want to say bees. We have come for you. No, let me just get that out of the name completely. Ooh. Okay, well, y'all let me know. If y'all find me a little name that I can call y'all, and, and we'll work it out from there. I love y'all. Peace out. <laughs>